Alright, let's jump off here. No! <laughs> Koopa Troopa to the face! Definitely a fail there. Alright, let's try jumping over again. Oh my god! Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games. Today we'll be checking out Nintendo's Virtual Boy console. This is a system that did very poorly for Nintendo. And today we're gonna play 10 different games. I have this giant stack here of games. It's actually almost every US game released for the Virtual Boy. We're gonna pop these in and see if the system really is bad as it's made out to be. We're gonna start off with Wario Land, which I already played a little bit of and I know it's actually a really fun game. So let's start things off with a game that is definitely pretty good to show you what the Virtual Boy can really do. All right, to put games in the Virtual Boy console, what you do is you take the cart face up like so, just pop it in the system like that, and then you'll take the controller and turn the system on with the actual controller like so. And that is how you start up the Virtual Boy. All right, now on the top of the Virtual Boy, we have two controls. We have a focus meter, and to me, this changes the intensity of the 3D effect. Kind of like on the Nintendo 3DS, where you slide the 3D and it seems more extreme. The IPD, I believe, is for pupillary distance, and it can help clear it up so that's not real blurry as well if you're having some issues. All right, so underneath the Virtual Boy, we have a place for a headphone jack as well as volume control, because the Virtual Boy does actually have speakers. So if you go counterclockwise, as you can hear, the game volume gets louder. Pretty cool. All right, now with everything set, we are ready to check out the games. All right, so here we go. Virtual Boy. This is the little screen it shows every time you start a new game. All right, so Virtual Boy Wario Land. And it's hard to see probably in the video, but there's some nice depth here to the game, the artificial 3D environments here. All right, like I said, this is actually a really good game. We have this little opening scene here. Wario is blowing a giant snot bubble. Nice. Let's get going. All right, so these little dudes are stealing our treasure. And now we get to play. So, Wario can do this little dash move like you've seen in other Wario games. And he can jump up and down. Now this effect looks really cool on the Virtual Boy. It looks like it's coming right at your face. It's pretty cool. Do note the extremely ugly red color though. It's just how the Virtual Boy looks. This is the color they went with. Using uh, one color and focusing on one color is how they get the little 3D-ish effect. And, uh, you know, for whatever reason, they went with this red color. Alright. Little froggy frog. Knock him out. Uh, that's one way we can take out enemies. Another way, I believe you can jump on their heads, just like Mario. Yep. Then once they're down, you can knock them out. You can bust bricks, just like Mario. We can butt bounce, I believe. Maybe not yet. I think we have to get the power up to butt bounce. Maybe it's this. Okay, let's see. Butt bounce. Yeah, now we can butt bounce. I wonder if we can... I, wonder... I don't remember how to get this little cloud thing. Alright, we can butt bounce these. And I'm no pro at any of these games. I've only played this game a couple times. I did think it was really good, though. I've never played all the way through it. Usually after about 10 or 15 minutes, uh, the Virtual Boy starts to hurt my neck and my eyes pretty bad. So, <laughs> we're gonna tough it out and play all 10 of these games today. We'll play each just for a little bit, though. We'll see if we can beat this first level on this, though, just because this is one of the best games. All right, these are one of my favorite things. You can use these springs to go into the background. And it looks super far away when you're actually using the Virtual Boy. It's really cool. The music's also great. Very catchy. Kind of reminds me of Luigi's Mansion music a little bit. All right, there's a key we need over here. We'll grab that real quick. And that's how we'll exit the first level. That key, we'll go ahead and enter this door. A little bonus room, we can pick up this little cat here. And take off. All right, we're getting closer to the end of the level. Spring over. If I can hit the right button here, there we go. <laughs> nice and easy. Break some more bricks. Okay, we don't want to fall here. And we fell. I think, oh man, I think we could have ran across maybe. Or dashed across. I think that's what we got to do. All right, let's try this again. That's how you do it. You dash across the gaps. I definitely screwed that up. Little heart. And once you get to the end of the level, use the key and the lock pad. 
it'll open up a door and you can ride the elevator up to the next area. All right, up next we have Mario Clash. All right, this game is actually pretty cool. It reminds me of the more old school Mario arcade game. It's not as straightforward as a classic 2D Mario where you're running through the level and jumping on the flagpole. This is definitely more of an arcade style game. Let's go ahead and start it up here. Level one. It's been a while since I played this, so hopefully I don't screw it up too bad. So this is what an entire level looks like in Mario Clash. And the object is to take out the spike tops or spinies uh, whatever happens to be in the level, here we got some spike tops. And you take out the spike tops by throwing turtle shells at them like so. Once you take all of them out, you beat the level. There's ways to jump up <laughs> onto these other platforms. But there we go. Level one in the books, nice and easy. Boop, 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 doo, 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 doo. It does have some pretty sweet music. Level two. Alright, more spike tops. All right, let's jump off here. No! <laughs> Koopa Troopa to the face! Definitely a fail there. All right, let's try jumping over again. Oh my god! <laughs> I am definitely uh, out of practice for this game. All right, up next we have Nestor's Funky Bowling. Nintendo, Shubidabop presents Nestor's Funky Bowling, doo -doo -doo -doo, 1996. One player challenge. Okay, here we go. There's one pin we gotta knock down. This must just be a challenge mode. Oh, we just barely missed it. Our player's hair fell off. The little aimer is really weird. Ah, there we go, we got one. What is that? <laughs> like alien pin or something. I don't understand the aiming yet. Oh, you're mad. I'm mad too. That doesn't feel right. Okay, I think we go by... Oh, Nana Nana Boo Boo yourself. Do we want that line to be lined up or do we want the thing to be lined up? Let's try this. That felt better. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand this little meter now. It does look pretty neat seeing it fall down. Okay, so we want to hit it right about here, I think. Oh, that was close. I think we're getting a little- Oh my god, he's mad! Here we go. Ah, man, we're not very good at this. No, I'm so mid! How about this? Oh, we were so close! And I pulled my hair out! Okay, throw it really fast. And we missed one. Oh, your hair fell out again. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying my best. Oh, it was so close! Oh, yeah! Oh, wow, that was weird. Final score, 30. I don't know what's good in that mode. Let's just assume 30 means we did really well. All right, up next we have Panic Bomber. I believe this to be a Bomberman themed puzzle game. And I think it's supposed to be a little bit like Mean Bean Machine or like Puzzle Fighter. One of those kind of games where you're battling an enemy in a puzzle format. And there's Bomberman. And a really cool, kind of a remix. This is cool. All right, Panic Bomber, 1995, so many years ago. Yeah, I love this song. All right, let's just do normal. We got this. You can pick what your blocks look like. Let's go with these. Some classic blocks. I am Drifty. These ruins are my home. I'm just floating around. Want to play? Oh, the music. I'm loving this. Okay, what do we do? So I imagine we just match shapes. Let's see. So sets of three go away. We also have bombs, though. I don't know how the bombs work yet. Ooh, the bombs multiplied. Maybe we want to multiply the bombs. I'm not sure yet. Oh, you want to clear things by the bombs. Let's see what happens when we blow the bombs up. It cleared out a bunch. That was cool. Okay. I haven't quite figured this out yet, but I definitely want to make matches and make bombs appear. And probably quicker than the other guy. It looks like we're winning by the looks of his screen. I shouldn't get too confident here. I love these kind of puzzle games too, where there's a story mode like this. You play against each other, and you try to mess the other player up. I always just think that's really fun. Uh, mean Bean Machine on the Sega Genesis is one of my favorite puzzle games. So, let's see, this ought to do it. Oh no, he cleared a bunch out! Crap, I wasn't paying attention because I thought I won. Oh my. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Don't screw up now. There we go. I mean, uh, 
Whoa, look at this giant bomb! Alright, here we go. Ooh, the game is on, folks. Oh, I just cleared everything! And... I won and you lost! Awesome! That was freaking fun. This might be my favorite so far. All right, up next we have Tolero Boxer. Whoa, system architecture. Edward Maki Jr. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Tarot Boxer. Dance, dance, dance. All right, let's start this up. Opponent list. Smiley guy with sunglasses and sideways baseball cap. Pretty cool. Let's do it. Yeah! Okay. We can block. We can punch. Okay, we're fighting the robot guy. Control's a little weird. Okay, that... How do I... S I can jump. I can dodge a little bit. I think we're winning, though. That's all that matters. How do I... Okay, I don't understand what I'm doing. It's like a fish robot guy that I'm fighting here. I guess I'll just keep punching the crap. What? Why am I stunned? Don't celebrate already, I'm winning. I should just be tapping buttons. I don't know, man, that was rough. Alright. It's a pretty close fight. I wish I knew the controls a little better. I wish maybe they made the first enemy a little bit slower so you could take some time to kind of figure out what you're doing. No, 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 no! Oh my god, that's like in my face! Don't do it! Get him, get him! Oh man, that move sucks. That's cheap. Don't do it again. Don't you dare! Don't you knock me out! No! <laughs> I wanted to win that! Oh, you keep laughing. Sunglasses, baseball cap, turny, smiley face, guy thingy. Whatever. Alright, up next we have Red Alarm. I snagged this game on eBay a while ago, and I've never actually tried it out, so I'm pretty excited to try it out today. Oh wow, this looks looks kind of like Star Fox a little bit. It reminds me of Star Fox for sure. I mean, obviously less detailed. All we're seeing is red lines. Super weird graphics. All right, let's go. Red alarm. Good luck. Good luck. Hey, that's a. I'm definitely getting that Star uh, Star Fox vibe from this game. Oh, for sure. This looks a lot like Star Fox. Okay, how do we shoot? Okay, that button makes us go faster. We can shoot with the trigger. Okay. The controls are a little inverted. It's kind of cool looking. I mean, it's the graphics are weird how it's all just a bunch of lines or whatever, but it does have a really neat 3D effect going. This is pretty cool. I wonder if this has anything to do with Star Fox, though, because all these spaceships and enemies Though less detailed, definitely uh, look like things straight out of Star Fox for sure. Hey, look at all the little stick figure people running around uh, down there. That's really cool. For only using lines, this has a lot of detail. It's a face! Oh, this is cool. Like a little boss battle? I'm afraid to move. Oh man, things are shooting at me like crazy. Can we go in reverse? We can. Ooh, I think we can go through now. I think we blew up the face. That was pretty cool. Danger zone! Oh my. Boss fight? That's the boss, I guess. I'm not sure if we're hurting it. It's kind of hard to tell what I'm doing, really, at this point. Die! We did it! We killed the boss! Now what? Stage clear! Awesome! That was fun! Fantastic! Fantastic! You hear that? Virtual Boy doesn't lie. When it tells you you did a good job, it means business. Alright, up next we have Mario's Tennis! Let's do doubles. That'll be Mario and Luigi. Let's do uh, Princess and Yoshi. Oh, the characters look awesome. This actually looks pretty promising. Here we go. Who's serving first? Oh, not me. I missed it! No! I let us down, Luigi! Alright, Luigi, it's all up to you now. You do what you do. Oh yeah! It's all up to Luigi, but we take a credit too. Like usual. Oh, 
Did I get it? No, I missed. Dang it. I suck at this. Luigi, it's going to be all up to you, man. Oh my god, it's hard to hit it. Maybe I have to try the other button. There we go. Get it, Luigi. Yeah, we did something. Yeah, we got this. We got this. No, get it, Luigi. Good job. Get it. Luigi, don't let us down. Oh, I missed it. Oh, Princess and Yoshi won. No! All right, next up, we have Goff. Okay, this is the one we've been waiting for, guys, right? Everyone loves a good Goff game. Goff. Hole one, par four. Let's do it. Okay, let's just hit the ball. How hard do we want to hit this thing? What? Oh, I don't think that was very good. No! Shot was 219 yards. There's some trees in our way. Crap. Is that where we want to be? I keep hitting the... Oh my freaking god! It didn't even go anywhere! Okay, I think I figured out how to aim better. We recovered. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So we're figuring this out. So we're gonna go about maybe here? Hey, that wasn't that bad! We're still not on the green, though. Okay, whatever. Here goes nothing. And... Way too hard. Oh my god! We barely hit it! Oh my god, this game. Okay, we're just gonna barely top it this time. And... Oh my god! <laughs> I hate this game! Uh, can we just make it in the freaking hole? And... Hey! We're getting closer. Nice recovery. Okay. Yeah! We did it! We did things! We only got plus four. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Next up, we have Galactic Pinball. Welcome to Space World. Let's go. What? <laughs> Welcome to Space World. Let's go. Should it say Welcome to Galactic Pinball? Let's go. Let's go with Alien. Whoa, cool, dude. Ooh. Can we make it to the alien's lair? Bam! All right, let's do it. I want to make it to the alien's lair. Whoa, that was kind of cool. It looks a little neat. We got an A. I don't know what that means. Bam! Alien's lair! Oh my god, what the heck? Oh, we gotta attack the alien now. Music's gotten cooler. Don't screw up now! No! Yeah, that's how we do it. Alien bonus, last chance! Get the alien! Get the alien! In your face! Alien, I guess it is kind of like a puck more than a pinball. Can we kill it? Yes! Okay, that was pretty cool. Alright! Uh, you know, it's, it's a pinball game, but we got to attack an alien. You know, it was interesting. Let's move on. All right, up next we have Virtual League Baseball. Virtual League Baseball! <laughs> what the heck? Is that a human or an alien? I don't know. Here we go. Oh man, this is gonna be tough, I bet. Oh, I swung way too early, I think. Okay, this looks kind of neat. The graphics are kind of ugly, but the, the ball traveling from far away to near you is pretty cool. I just, I can't quite get the depth perception, right? Oh, wow. Okay, I was late again. Oh, well, we got a couple more chances here. Here we go. Oh, we're out of there. Home run, we did it. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. What the? <laughs> this is awesome. Home run. Yeah, that's how we do it. All right, we've seen enough of this baseball game. All right, guys, this will conclude our look at the Virtual Boy and its games. Let me know what you think of the Virtual Boy in the comments below. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.